One unfortunate evening, little Eggsy watches as one of his father's colleagues informs him his mother that his father met his demise in a work-related incident. The man, filled with sorrow, hands Eggsy his father's Medal of Valor, telling him to call the number on its back and utter a secret phrase if he ever finds himself in trouble. Seventeen years later, a secret agent, codenamed Lancelot, embarks on an unexpected solo mission to rescue a kidnapped scientist named Arnold. Initially, his mission appears successful as he skillfully eliminates all the hostage takers. However, an unexpected knock on the door leads to his abrupt demise as a woman named Giselle slices him in half using her prosthetic blades. After covering the bodies with sheets, she ushers in her boss, Valentine, who assures Arnold of their shared ideology and future friendship. Shortly thereafter, Harry, the same man who had visited Eggsy's house 17 years ago, arrives at the headquarters of Kingsman, a spy organization disguised as a bespoke suit shop. Harry, operating under the code name Galahad, enters the office of Arthur, the leader of Kingsman. In a holographic conference with other secret agents, facilitated by their high-tech glasses, they toast in memory of Lancelot. Following this, Arthur instructs his agents to select their candidates for the new Lancelot. Once the conference concludes, the Kingsman's technical support operative, Merlin, enters the room and reveals Lancelot's final transmission before his death, identifying Arnold as a person of interest. In the midst of a troubled life with his mother, Michelle, and his abusive stepfather, Dean, Eggsy, now a young man, decides to take a breather and go for a walk. Before leaving, he spends some time playing with his little sister, whom he deeply cares for. Later, Eggsy finds himself in a pub with his friends. However, their casual banter about Dean is overheard by Dean's friends, leading to a confrontation. Eggsy and his friends are unceremoniously kicked out of the pub. In a surprising turn of events, Eggsy reveals that he has managed to steal the car keys of one of Dean's friends using sleight of hand. This leads to a thrilling police chase, ending with Eggsy crashing the stolen car into the police vehicle. Following his arrest, Eggsy refuses to cooperate with the detective. In a desperate move, he calls the number on the back of the medal he was given as a child, uttering the secret phase. This results in his immediate release without any charges. Outside the police station, he is approached by Harry, who reveals that he was the one who gave Eggsy the medal after his father's death. Harry and Eggsy share a drink together, during which Harry expresses his disappointment in Eggsy's life choices, including dropping out of school and not completing his marine training. Eggsy retorts by explaining the struggles of growing up in poverty. Their conversation is interrupted by the same group that had earlier kicked Eggsy out of the pub. When they start disrespecting Harry, he locks the pub's door and engages them in a fight. Using his special umbrella as both a shield and a weapon, along with his athleticism, Harry manages to beat them all despite being outnumbered. He then uses his watch to induce amnesia in a bystander who had been watching the fight. Eggsy, however, promises to keep the incident a secret, so Harry spares him from the amnesia-inducing device. Later, Eggsy is summoned by Harry to meet him at the Kingsman store. To get there, Eggsy skillfully evades his abusive stepfather and his friends, using impressive parkour moves. Upon arrival at the Kingsman store, Harry welcomes Eggsy and escorts him into a secret elevator. This leads them to a hidden train that swiftly transports them to Kingsman headquarters, located in a completely different area. At the headquarters, Harry leaves Eggsy in a room with other young individuals. They are informed by Merlin that they are about to undergo a series of rigorous tests. The one who successfully completes all the tests will earn the title of the next Lancelot. Merlin warns them that the process is dangerous and could result in severe injuries or even death. Eggsy finds himself as the only candidate who didn't graduate from a prestigious university or come from a wealthy family. This leads to some bullying from the other candidates. However, Roxy, another candidate, advises Eggsy to ignore the bullies and is friendly towards him. Meanwhile, Valentine has a meeting with the U.S. president. He claims to have a solution for climate change, but insists that the president must agree to all his terms before he reveals his plan. One night, while the candidates are sleeping in the dormitory, the room suddenly fills with water. As they're about to drown, Eggsy looks for an obvious solution. He tries to open the door and then, realizing that there's a two-way mirror, crashes it, saving the entire team. On a mission to interrogate Arnold, Harry is taken aback when Arnold's head suddenly explodes. Unbeknownst to Harry, the cause of this shocking event was an implant in Arnold's brain, placed there by Valentine. The explosion results in Harry being injured and subsequently attacked by Valentine's agents. Despite his injuries, Harry manages to escape. In the Kingsman training program, the candidates are given a unique task. They must choose a puppy and train it. Eggsy chooses a pug, mistakenly thinking it's a pit bull puppy. This choice amuses Roxy. Despite the pug's lack of obedience, 
Eggsy grows fond of it and often carries it in his pocket. Valentine, as part of his grand plan to solve climate change, manufactures billions of SIM cards. He then announces that these free SIM cards will provide infinite free internet to everyone, causing a global frenzy. The next test for the candidates involves parachuting from an airplane and landing on a specific mark on the ground. Roxy is initially scared, but Eggsy encourages her. After jumping, they are informed by Merlin that one of them doesn't have a parachute. The candidates must work together to ensure everyone lands safely. Eggsy devises a plan where they form a circle and activate their parachutes one by one. In the end, only Roxy and Eggsy are left. Roxy's parachute works, and Eggsy manages to hang on, landing safely. This test results in the elimination of three candidates, leaving only three remaining. When Eggsy confronts Merlin about not having a parachute, Merlin reveals that Eggsy did have a parachute all along, and the test was designed to assess her reaction under pressure. In the next test, the remaining candidates are tasked with getting close to a woman at a bar. However, they soon discover that their waiter has drugged them. Eggsy wakes up to find himself tied to a railway track. The waiter interrogates him, demanding to know who he works for and who Galahad is. Despite the imminent danger of an approaching train, Eggsy remains steadfast, refusing to divulge any information about the Kingsman. As the train roars closer, he braces himself for the end. However, just as the train arrives, the platform he's on descends into the ground, saving him from a certain death. After the train passes, Galahad appears, congratulating Eggsy on his courage and revealing that the entire ordeal was a test, which he passed. They then watch as a third candidate fails the test, leaving only Eggsy and Roxy as the final contenders. A few days later, Eggsy is presented with the final test by Arthur. He is handed a gun and ordered to shoot his dog. As Eggsy aims his gun at the pug, he finds himself unable to pull the trigger, as he realizes that it's just an innocent animal. In the next room, a gunshot rings out, indicating that Roxy has passed the test. This results in Roxy becoming the new Lancelot and Eggsy being sent home with his dog. Later, during a meeting at his house, Harry expresses his disappointment to Eggsy, revealing that the bullets in the gun were blanks and the dog would not have been harmed. Once again, it was a test of character. Their conversation is interrupted when Harry receives intelligence that Valentine is monitoring a religious hate group. Harry decides to investigate and heads to the group's church. Initially, he finds nothing unusual for a hate group gathering, but as he attempts to leave, all the phones in the church start emitting a specific signal from Valentine's free SIM cards. This signal triggers uncontrollable violence in everyone within its range, including Harry. As the signal continues to blare, a chaotic scene unfolds. The churchgoers, previously engrossed in their hateful chants, are now locked in a blood-boiling melee, brutally attacking everyone within their reach. This leads the church to transforming into a battleground with every person for themselves. Harry, in particular, goes on a rampage, using his secret agent skills and gadgets to eliminate everyone in the church. After the signal stops, Harry regains his senses and steps out of the church, only to be confronted by Valentine. Valentine explains his plan to trigger his SIM cards to emit a neurological wave that will cause everyone to kill those around them, thereby reducing the human population. After revealing his plan, Valentine shoots Harry in the head, killing him instantly. In the wake of Harry's tragic demise, Arthur invites Eggsy to share a toast in his honor. As they raise their glasses, Arthur assures Eggsy that Valentine's confession has been recorded and his arrest is imminent. However, just as Eggsy is about to take a sip, he spots a scar behind Arthur's ear, a telltale sign of Valentine's implant. Quick-witted as ever, Eggsy distracts Arthur by asking about the portrait of the founding members displayed on the wall. Seizing the moment when Arthur's attention is diverted, Eggsy swaps their brandy glasses, suspecting Arthur might have poisoned his drink. His suspicion proves correct when Arthur succumbs to his own poison. Eggsy then takes the implant to Merlin, revealing Arthur's betrayal. Upon examination, Merlin discovers that the implant is designed to block the neurological waves. However, unbeknownst to those implanted, Valentine can trigger them to explode their heads at will. Armed with this knowledge, Merlin devises a plan to destroy one of Valentine's satellites. Roxy is tasked with launching missiles from a high-altitude balloon. While Eggsy and Merlin infiltrate the safe zone, a sanctuary Valentine has set up for his allies to avoid the chaos that will be caused by the neurological waves. To execute this plan, Eggsy dons a Kingsman's attire and assumes Arthur's identity. As Roxy ascends and prepares to launch the missiles, Eggsy silently incapacitates a man in the safe zone and commandeers his laptop, granting Merlin access to Valentine's database. Just as Roxy is about to fire the missile, a balloon bursts. Despite the setback, she manages to launch the missile, temporarily thwarting Valentine's plan. Following Merlin's instructions, Eggsy overcomes the guards. With the missile en route in less than a minute on the clock, it seems all is lost, 
However, in the final moment, the missile strikes the satellite, causing a massive explosion. As Merlin attempts to hack into the database, the biometric security system prevents him. With his cover blown, Exy races back to the plane he arrived on, with Merlin providing cover fire against the pursuing guards. Merlin informs Exy that he must return and physically stop Valentine. Meanwhile, Valentine is dealing with the destruction of the satellite. Unfazed, he contacts an associate to use her company's satellite, which would allow him to activate his nefarious waves within a few minutes. As Exy makes his way back in, a horde of guards begins to chase him. Exy uses his high-tech umbrella and a lighter bomb to fend off his pursuers. Exy comes up with a brilliant idea that Merlin should hack into Valentine's implants and trigger them to explode. Merlin hacks into the system and activates the implants just as the guards are about to corner Exy. This results in a spectacular display as their heads start exploding in a colorful show, effectively eliminating all the privileged individuals in the safe zone. Unfortunately, Valentine and Giselle didn't have the implants themselves and simply witnessed the demise of all their allies. Valentine then sends a signal to activate the neurological waves once again, causing everyone in the world to start fighting each other, resulting in chaos everywhere. Giselle, Agile, and Deadly engages Exy in a fierce battle. As they fight, Exy remembers that his shoes have venomous blades that Harry had taught him about. Exy uses the blade to unexpectedly slice Giselle's forearm, delivering a fatal dose of poison into her bloodstream. With Giselle out of the picture, Exy takes one of her blades and throws it at Valentine, finally putting an end to his evil plan. With the world saved, Exy now, the new Galahad, returns home to save his mother from his abusive stepfather. When Dean disrespects Exy, he locks the pub's door and engages him in a fight, just as Harry would have done.